Good afternoon. Assalamu alaikum to you all. Welcome to the 2023-24 NIA Elementary Honor Society induction ceremony. Before getting started, I would like to thank our Honor Society advisor, Ms. Bazoon, who is also our sixth grade teacher. Her initiative and leadership in leading our students is outstanding. She leads by example and is an exemplary role model. Mrs. Banna, who's our fifth grade teacher, is unable to be with us here today. Ms. Porter is our fourth grade teacher. Special thanks to all of you as the parents, as obviously all your hard work has allowed your students to reach this milestone and this accomplishment. So for without your work um, and being the awesome parents that you are, your kiddos won't be where they are here today. So admission into the NEHS is an extraordinary accomplishment. So for those of you that are unfamiliar with the National Elementary Honor Society, uh, being recognized um, for their years of hard work, uh, these students in the room here today are not only model academic, academically recognized students, but are also model behavior in terms of citizenship and in character, um, and have demonstrated an array of different qualities to their character that has led them to be suitable candidates for the National Elementary Honor Society. So what does it mean to be a member of NEHS? We know at minimum that it means they need to maintain exemplary grade point average, a minimum of 3.5 GPA. And while as a society always place a strong emphasis on academic performance, we also know that the world is filled with many smart people who don't always demonstrate great morals and ethics that are the very core at what it means to be a member of an honor society. As honor society members, these students here today are leaders of their class. They represent the very best in our school. The honor society is built on four pillars, scholarship, service, leadership, and character. You are already hitting the mark in each of these areas, and it's for this reason, boys and girls, that you are sitting here before us today. An NEHS chapter brings with it exclusive tools and resources for you as early leaders that not only help you in your endeavors as NEHS student members, but leaves a lasting impact on the critical development of any, what NEHS represents and unlocks. And so what does it unlock for our students? It focuses on culture of being caring. So NEHS fosters character development, future academic success, and an array of opportunities for service and giving back to their school community and the community at large. In fact, one of the strengths of NEHS is it emphasizes on the importance of both character and academics, putting student members on a path to becoming well-rounded individuals. Springboard to leadership. When you adopt NEHS programs, you set your students up for success throughout their academic careers. Young students also look up to their budding leaders, motivating entire student body and uplifting the school culture. So yes, our students here today sitting before you are the examples for the students that are in the grades beneath them. Leadership. In leadership, looking at opportunities for coaching, mentoring other students, serving as examples, being public speakers, being able to present on important topics within the school, being able to assist when it comes to responsibility and support, whether it be with volunteering, fundraising, being an older buddy for students in younger grades, supporting teachers and staff throughout the building, and maybe your principal too, right? Who wants to be my assistant principal? Mm -hmm. Service planning mindset. So, 
This is at the heart and the core of what being an NEHS student is. It's giving back, and through service, that is the goal. NEHS advisors get unlimited access, and students as well, and opportunities to give in terms of supporting their school community, opportunities outside the school community. So we look forward to planning initiatives and activities uh, not only within the NIA building, but outside of the school building to be able to support areas in the community that might be in need. We've done this through uh, a warm clothing drive in previous years. We've done this through uh, collecting food and providing those to those who are in need. So food drives, uh, different opportunities within the school for tutoring, support of the elderly. There's opportunities to give back for those who, uh, who are in need of support in that regard. So there's an, a, a really a unlimited opportunity to give back and to serve in, in different capacities. With that being said, I again welcome you and I appreciate you being here with us today, parents. We thank each and every one of you for serving as such a wonderful role model to your child and ensuring that they have reached this level of not only academic success, but the success of citizenship um, and then success of character. We know that the parent is the first teacher, the home is the first school. They say it takes a village, and we definitely as educators recognize it takes a village to raise a child. So again, thank you for being here with us. Um, and next, it's with great honor, I welcome Ms. Bazoon, our NEHS teacher advisor for the 2023-24 chapter. Ms. Bazoon. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to our National Elementary Honor Society induction ceremony for the year 2023-24. I am both proud and honored to have been asked to speak on this wonderful occasion as the fac faculty advisor for this wonderful group of students. I congratulate each of you and your parents. Your achievements in the realms of scholarship, leadership, community service, and character are being honored here today by, by your induction into this prestigious society. An honor such as this is a wonderful way for the school and community to recognize and celebrate the choices and sometimes sacrifices you have made. But I believe that what should make you and your parents the most proud is not the actual honor itself but what you had to do to get it. As Ralph Waldo said, the reward of a thing well done is to have, it, to have done it. And the recognition is just the icing of the cake, not to be expected, but to be enjoyed. To the students, this is an important moment worth celebrating. Your dedication is the reason you stand here today. The four requirements for membership is which you have excel, scholarship, leadership, community service, and character were not chosen at random. They are the core of a fulfilling life. The most important thing to remember is that each of these characteristics are the sum of many individual decisions. They embody a positive attitude backed by purposes. The only way to achieve your purpose is to take small action every day. In the end, they all add up. My hope for you will cultivate this attitude backed by purposes in your own life. I am confident that you will do an excellent job taking an active role at our school and that you'll demonstrate great leadership skills. As a special congratulations to the parents and families of these remarkable young individuals. Your unconditional love, support, guidance, and encouragement throughout the year is an important factor contributing to what your sons and daughters are here today. Your efforts have definitely paid off. I eagerly anticipate a remarkable year for NEA Trust with exciting accomplishments on the horizon. Our elected members will now present the four pillars of NEA Trust. Our president, Zain Majid, will present scholarship. Z Anas Hamid will present responsibility. Muhammad Rizvi will present service. And finally, Zina Majid will present leadership.
Scholarship means commitment to learning. An anxious member is willing to spend time in reading and studying, bearing the last benefits of a cultivated mind. We must all continue to learn even when formal education has ended, whether at the end of the school day, school year, or our educational career. But education only ends at the end of life. Knowledge is one great element in life, which leads to high success. And it can be acquired in only one way, through diligence and effort. Learning furnishes the land by which we read the past, and that uh, light eliminates the future. Future. Members of NHS are challenged to continually expand the world through opportunities inherent in scholarship. As an NHS member, I'm always learning, whether it's outside of school or inside of school. I will always learn new things every day. Responsibility. Responsibility is our commitment to do we are, what we say we are going to do. It's our obligation for doing what is right when faced with the temptation of doing wrong. Responsibility is an expression of our concern for our family. We work in a responsible manner after to achieve our academic goals. When playing sports, we are, we are responsible to the team by always continuing our best effort and displaying good sportsmanship. Our responsibility to our community is displayed through acts of good citizenship respecting the laws, culture, and traditions of our part of it. Any chess members demonstrate responsibility at home, at school, in the community, and serve as role models for our peers. We accept these new responsibilities with pride. I'll be up to the trust and responsibility and present my school high standards. I'll follow the NHS core principles and cultivate them to my daily routine. One of the main principles is responsibility. I'll be committed to study and work in a responsible manner at school and dedicate most of my time to achieve higher and higher academic goals. And represent my school at the state and national levels. I'll dedicate some of my time to give back to the community, which is part of my responsibility. is service. In our day-to-day -day lives, many opportunities arise to perform service, helping others do what they cannot do alone. This willingness to work for the, qual for the benefit of those in need without monetary compensation or the expectation of reward is the quality we seek in our members. We are committed to the idea of volunteering our time and abilities to the creation of a better tomorrow for us all. In a world where academic achievement and ethical responsibility is important, the pillars of NEHS will be a guide to success. Through our actions and commitment to service, we will build a better world.
leadership as members of the National Elementary Honor Society should exert a positive influence on the school. A student leader takes the initiative in class and in school activities, striving to train and aid others to reach their goals. The price of our leadership is a sacrifice, a willingness to yield our personal interests for the interests of others. A leader has self-confidence and will go forward when others hesitate. Leadership is needed in many aspects of our lives. Thus, to lead is another important challenge to each of our members. NHS members will always show leadership, whether it's inside of school or outside of school. NHS members will always represent themselves like a role model. NHS induction ceremony pledge. I pledge to uphold. I pledge to uphold the high purposes. The high purposes of the National Elementary Honor Society. Of the National Elementary Honor Society. To which I have been selected. To which I have been selected. Striving in every way. Striving in every way. By word and deed. By word and deed. To make its ideals. To make its ideals. The ideals of my school. The ideals of my school. And of my life. And of my life. I pledge to uphold. I pledge to uphold the high purposes. The high purposes of the National <coughs> Elementary Honor Society. Of the National Elementary Honor Society. To which I have been selected. To which I have been selected. I will be true. I will be true to the principles of for which it stands. To the principles of which it stands. And will maintain. And will maintain and encourage. And encourage. High standards of scholarship. High standards of scholarship. Responsibility. Responsibility. Service. Service. And leadership. And leadership. As a member. As a member. Of the National Elementary Honor Society. Of the National Elementary Honor Society. I pledge to. I pledge to. Be a strong student. Be a strong student. Achieving the most from my education. Achieving the most from my education. Demonstrate responsibility. Demonstrate responsibility. Showing enthusiasm. Showing enthusiasm. And working hard in all that I do. And working hard in all that I do. Learn the skills of leadership. Learn the skills of leadership. Practicing them in all aspects of my life. Practicing them in all aspects of my life. Be of service to my school. Be of service to my school. And community. And community. Showing that I care. Showing that I care. And be a role model. And be a role model. For my peers. For my peers. Helping us all achieve our best. Helping us all achieve our best. Congratulations, you've now officially taken the pledge. We're almost there. We have both new inductees this year and returning NEHS inductees. Our returning NEHS inductees are Zain Majid, Miriam Abdullah, Aisha Sayed. Our, you, you may see, our officers uh, our President, Zain Majid, Vice President, Anas Hamid, Treasurer, Zina Majid, Secretaries, Mohammed Rizvi and Bayan Madehli, and Historian, Aisha Sayed. New inductees, I'm going to be calling back out your names. When I call your name, please stand and remain standing. Inaya Ahmed. Anabia Bilal, Yunus Siddiqui,
Miriam Abdullah, Bayan Madehli, Sidra, Sidra Najad, Sophia Katri, Aisha Sayed, Zain Majid, Anas Hamid, Mohammed Rizvi, Zina Majid. Did I miss anyone? No. Let's give them a round of applause. Okay, boys and girls, it's now official. You are the 2023-24 NIA Scholar inductees of the National Elementary Honor Society for Nor International Academy. I'm very proud and honored to induct you today. Welcome. Are you ready for a lot of work? Yeah. I hope so. Um, thank you very much. You may have a seat. With that, um, we will conclude our program. Again, I want to thank you parents for joining us. Um, it's your partnership is definitely uh, something that is uh, a addition and a supportive aspect to everything we do that without you we couldn't we couldn't be as successful as we are um, I do want to say uh, for those of you that are not aware uh, NIA has scored in the highest ranking for schools across the state of Michigan with a growth index of 99.15% that you uh, have a hand in as parents, um, our, our dedicated uh, staff, um, both general ed teachers, paraprofessionals, support staff, um, everyone in between collectively as a team um, uh, have been working diligently since we came back uh, from being, uh, remember the days of virtual learning was during COVID time was a very you know big struggle. Um, and when we came back from that, we knew um, there were some major gaps and people were, you know, students were deficient and we were committed to really hit the ground running and make sure that we were full force, the expectations very high, um, the standards very high, um, and we, we truly, you know, uh, did all we could and happily and, and, you know, with great honor, we're able to say we met and exceeded the expectations that we had put for ourselves. So I want to thank you for the hand you had in that, because again, like I said, your partnership is an is an integral part of what we do. Um, and of course, I want to. I'm very proud of each and every one of our students, um, not just those students that are here with us today, but the school at large, because our kiddos. I always say, NIA students rock. They are the best students out there, and I'm so proud. Um, of being their principal. It, they really, they brighten my day every day. Um, many of you know I come a long way to Sterling Heights every day, but it's really number one for the sake of the kids, and they make it worthwhile. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm really, I say that from the bottom of my heart. Um, so with that being said, who wants cake? <laughs> I know the kids are waiting for the cake. They saw the cake back there. They know cake is waiting for them. Thank you again for joining us, uh, parents. We hope that you're with us each and every year as we um, continue to host National Elementary Honor Society with your kiddos that are in the younger grades. They'll continue with us the years to come. Um, and so with that, we conclude. Thank you so much. Thank you.